I'm out and I'm about and I'm on the Cyrusher XF 900 full suspension and what an appropriate place to be the Millennium Cycle National Cycle Network to show you the Cyrusher bike so National Cycle Network Route 6 Obviously, mountain bikes and bicycles that way, and horses, people, and bikes that way. So, we're on the XF 900 side ship. Smooth, well, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, it's responsive. Like Jan's, Jan's on the Catalyst and uh, that's the K800. This is absolutely brilliant. We have Pegasus 1 and 12.5 mile an hour, 12 mile an hour. Brilliant. Yeah. You're right. 
Yeah, you. So we've stopped now. The glass of coal at the dog and dog. A nice little bit of a cheeky drink while we're out. Turns up coke as well. Both on coke, aren't we? <laughs> Let's go. So let's just give you a quick look round the side rusher and what I've thought of doing a little bit of a ride on it now. The shocks have been absolutely brilliant. Um, the power, a little bit hesitation, it, but then it kicks in, but that could be just something to do with the settings. But yeah. It's done about 13 mile now, well, it says 9 on here, but uh, I didn't have it on at first. So basically, it's done 13 miles, and we've basically, I'm still on full bar. So mine's not even gone down yet. But yeah, it's running like a dream. I think what, you get a lot of stirs on it as well, that's, I mean, people look at it, people who stop for a drink. Everyone who walked past it was on the look at it. The tyres, with the size of the tyres, you don't feel any bumps, especially with the suspension as well and the tyres. It's good. Really is a nice ride. Jan's got the uh, Catalus. And are you happy with it? Mm, getting used to it now. What do you like about yours? I don't know. It's easy for it to ride, isn't it? Yeah, it's easier to ride. I don't, I don't know, because I don't know what... The, the only thing is that what Jan has said, that it is an heavy bike. Yeah, it is a bit uh, too heavy. A bit too heavy for her. But she's getting used to that, she said. I mean... I just need to pump some more iron at gym. Yeah, she needs <laughs> to go to the gym a bit more, she says. But uh, Jan's light on that one is massive. Uh, this one is front and rear wheel drive, so I'm going to test the Jan in a minute, try that on uh, the other switch. switch so Jan switches there. this little switch underneath here, 
to that when she uses a motor it will spin both wheels i'm stuck with just the one wheel but i don't mind but yeah um up to now totally made up with it the uh thumb throttle i've got on this i struggle with changing the gear at the back because that is in the way but Cyrusher have promised me that they're going to send me out a throttle instead if i use it i don't know uh, the pedal assist is is good enough to be honest um riding it there's no effort whatsoever i would have been knacking an ounce of breath by now so what do i think of it out of 10 i'm gonna give it a nine i would have given it a ten except for the gear shifter and the throttle stopping me to change my gears but with side rusher coming back to me and sending me one out which they said they will send me one out it will get a ten definitely the travel of the forks Traveller Fox, elastic band thing there, and that's how much travel I've had on them. So, they do work. People say they're not getting much travel out of it. You can hear a lot of deer in the suspension. Um, love it, do love it. Hydraulic brakes, Shimano gears. Now, this is only seven speed, so make sure if you do want this, it's a seven speed you don't really need any more um jan's got 21 on that and i think she's probably only used three or four three uh, gears well, <laughs> she hasn't used many <laughs> but I jan's got jan's got a little bit of a rackle on her bike uh where the chain the the mechanism's trying to pull the chain over i forget what it's called uh the drarier gear shifter um this bit i'll show you that little metal bit there is just catching on the chain so i need to just adjust that a little bit for jan but other than that we've enjoyed it it's been a good ride out bit of fun a bit of adventure and a bit neckled as well so completely neckled yeah, didn't listen to me i told him yeah she did um but yeah it's like i say with the side rusher um it was the last one i got in that color if they're doing any more, I don't know. But uh, Jan's has got more of a metallic paint in hers, where I've just got powder coated blue. But yeah, anything I would change on it? Just that shifter, just that uh, throttle thing. It is an heavy bike. It is an heavy bike. So. Make sure you, I mean, I've done quite a bit on it now and it's not even moved off the bars, off the battery. So. Four battery, four bars of mine. You got four? Yeah, 13.5 miles. So we, yeah. Jan's done the timer on that. I don't think I've set the wheel circumference on that right. But 13.5 uh, mile we've done. And Jan's only lost one bar. And don't forget she's got front and back wheel yeah but we're going to switch back yeah she said she's only just turn them back on she's only just turn them on so this is the, like i said this is the cyber xf 900 if you want one of these what i'll do is i'll put a link in the description be below hopefully you can still get one and they've got others there's another one there which it's a uh, cyber ranger that is absolutely brilliant so at the end of this video, what I'll do is I'll put a link to another video of me unboxing this and uh, a little trick, a little hack at the end of that video of the next one. You'll see it on the screen above at the end. So thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button and don't forget, like and share. Bye for now.